in this video we're going to talk about ARK Invest that keeps buying ARK Invest keep buying this stock and this stock is a 10x potential stock we'll go through why I think this is and it's a stock that's in a growing industry and ARK Invest commonly like to invest in companies that are in growing industries and this is one of them but this is a massive one that I think is going to grow a huge potential in towards the future. We'll go through all the information in this video in terms of what ARK Invest keep buying and why I think that this is a 10x stock. If you could smash that like button, that would be much appreciated as it helps out the channel as we try to grow to that 15,000 subscribers. So any help with smashing the like button is greatly appreciated. We'll get right into the information. I've got to say I'm not a financial advisor, so always do your own research as well. But let's get into the information I've got to you today and you have that direct approach. Right, so ARK Invest keep buying this stock and you can see here that they're constantly increasing their shares and their holding in this particular company, the one that we're going to go through today. And there is good reason for this because it has got 10x potential, okay, and we'll go into why, right? So also you've got this terms of, I want to pre preface this with the industry it's involved in, right? So it's involved in the e, uh, the gaming and esports sector, right? And more people are watching gaming and esports more than ever instead of Netflix, HBO, Hulu and ESPN combined. And most of the gaming viewership is not live now. Most of it's video on demand. And what you've got is this podcast that was actually produced by ARK Invest. And it was talking in depth about the growth in the gaming and esports industry in terms of content viewership, right? And people watching people play esports and, uh, and games in, in that sector, right? And we're thinking that this is going to grow exponentially, or they're thinking that it's going to grow exponentially. And with that in mind, there is a lot of potential for some of these companies to grow massively over the next couple of years. And I think that this is true for this stock that we're going to go through today. Some of the key points from the episode you can see here as, as you may be reading through them. Differences and similarities between esports and live streaming. Understanding the participation versus consumption ratios in digital gaming. So we're seeing more people actually watching video games and interacting with live streams in gaming, which is massive and it's a growing industry. Uh, the value and power that exists within online streaming platforms. Again, this is a growing area where more and more people are viewing live streams of people playing video games and just streaming in general as well, but, but also video games. So this is a explosive industry, which has got a lot of potential in terms of advertisers, you know, putting advertisements on these live streaming services. But in addition to that, you've also got the growth in memberships within these live streaming services. So there's a lot of ways that there's potential revenue growth in this industry. It's an explosive growth industry, and it's one that's underlooked right now. It needs to be talked about more in terms of this. Let's go into the stock we're talking about today. We're talking about Huya. So the ticker symbol for this is HU. Y A. Now this is a one that's had a bit of a. It's not had a massive run up, but has had a bit of a run up, right? From twenty five to thirty four now, so it's moved up a decent amount. Okay, and I, what I would say is that Ark Invest continually buy this stock because say they, they see the future potential. There's also some other investors, institutional investors involved as well, and there's also a lot of retail investors. There is a lot of potential going on with this stock. Now, who are they? So they are the number one game live streaming platform in China. So they live stream games in terms of the platform in China. And it's a leading gaming live streaming platform in China with a large and active game live streaming community. We cooperate with esports events organizers as well as major game developers and publishers and have developed esports live streaming as one of the most popular content genres on our platform, building on our success in a game live streaming sector. We also have extended our content to other entertainment genres, such as talent shows, anime and outdoor activities. The highly dynamic content and the variety of real-time interactions contribute to the overall entertainment and the social experience offered on the platform which cultivates a strong sense of belonging and effectively increases our users stickiness and time so essentially this is to put it in comparison this is the twitch of china in the sense that this is what's used in china huya 
for online gaming, for esports, for watching live streams. Okay, this is the Twitch of China, and Twitch is very, very uh, successful in that sense. And this one is going to be very successful here, yeah. And uh, there is a lot of potential and fundamentals behind it, which we'll go into. But this one has got a lot of potential here in terms of the of the growth that it could could have in the future. Now, before we go further into this stock, I'm going to say subscribe, like, and share. Help get this video out there on the YouTube search results and algorithm. Much appreciated. Also, consider becoming a channel member. We've increased this. We've introduced this channel member situation, so you can click on the join button and see what features you get involved with that. So, consider becoming a channel member. Moving into some more information. So, we got the. Huya revenues, which is the third quarter 2020 unaudited financial results. So there's a live streaming platform in China, as we know, as I went through. But what we can see here, what are the main factors? What are the main factors we can see? We can see that the revenue, the revenue itself is continually growing, right? We've got in, in, insane levels of growth, actually, representing an increase of 105.3%. You've got here, uh, third quarter, representing an increase of 75%. You've got the actual users actually growing, right? Actually, people using the website growing. Number of paying users has grown by 13.2%. Number of uh, increase here, 18.3%. So you can see this growth, massive growth of this company. And this is just the beginning. This is going to get even further growth going into the future as well. It's got a lot of potential, I think, this. So I'm very bullish on this stock. I personally bought into this stock. I see the potential in this in terms of the return on investment as it grows in the future years. This would be medium to long-term hold to, to achieve that 10x potential. But I do think if this continues to grow its revenues, its customer base, it's going to be a, a fantastic company. There's also some other catalysts going on at the moment. Let's have a look. So you've got this Huya and Duryu entering into a merger agreement. Now this could be huge. This could turn it into a monster, a monster of a stock. We'll go into that in a moment. Now before we do that, I've got we've got this Huya Rockets 20% as Rentec and Morgan Stanley take a combined 29% stake in the company. So it's operated of the China's biggest online gaming platform, rocketed nearly 20%. Okay, uh, the merger was a quite com com complicated. In addition to the growth of the Huya and Duryu, esports and increasing advertising revenue are possible catalysts going forward. Again, we're going to see an increase in esports. We're going to see this exponential rise in viewership in esports. It's a growing industry, is the gaming industry, particularly in esports and viewing, you know, esports tournaments. So as that continues to grow, then there's going to be more advertising revenue being able to be gained from that because there's more viewers, so they'll be able to get more through advertising and also memberships that they offer on the site. But So that's what they're doing here yet on their own. So on its own, it could move up anyways. But there's also this extra added bonus of the merger that could be happening. It's not 100% confirmed, I don't think, but it's it's on the works, right, to be happening with Duryu. Now, who are Duryu first? So they're a Chinese live streaming service and they have the largest of its kind in China with 163.6 million monthly active users in 2019, more than 140 million monthly active users of Twitch. Okay, so Duryu is, if they merge with, if they merge with Huya, that is going to be a massive company. That is going to be an absolute monster because then you've got all these extra users coming over. That's more revenue. That's more advertising spend. That's more eyeballs on their platform. And as the esports grows and then this merger happens, it could be massive for this company. We're talking 10x, 10x in the medium to long term. I'm really, really excited about this one. Now, um, Okay, so we've gone through the PowerPoint there. So just a quick reminder to like the video. Remember to like the video, share it. Let's get this out there. Consider also starting a position if you haven't already. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. You do your own research. And then consider becoming a channel member as well. Thanks for everybody for all the support on the channel. 
Hopefully you enjoyed that direct approach. Let's get right into the information. If you did enjoy that, then do leave the video a like, and I'll see everybody on the next one. Remember to subscribe. Bye.